Well, former U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton Tuesday night claimed the mantle as the Democratic Party's standard bearer for the 2016 presidential election. Viewers Richard Green has more on this historic event and looks ahead at the race between Clinton and her likely Republican opponent, Donald Trump. After months fending off an unexpectedly strong challenge from Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders, Clinton declared herself the winner of the Democratic Party's presidential nomination contest Tuesday night. Thanks to you, we've reached a milestone. The first time, the first time in our nation's history that a woman will be a major party's nominee. Clinton had secured the necessary delegates to clinch the Democratic nomination hours earlier after winning the New Jersey primary contest, the first of six contests being held across the country. She also congratulated Sanders, the self-described Democratic Socialist, whose campaign platform of ending income inequality and providing universal health care attracted and inspired millions of voters, especially young Americans. And let there be no mistake, Senator Sanders, his campaign, and the vigorous debate that we've had about how to raise incomes, reduce inequality, increase upward mobility have been very good for the Democratic Party and for America. Despite Clinton's historic achievement, Sanders vowed to continue his political revolution during a speech before a massive rally in Los Angeles. We are going We are going, we are going to fight hard. We are going to fight hard to win the primary in Washington, D.C. And then we take our fight for social, economic, racial, and environmental justice to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. With the nominating contest coming to an end, Clinton is now free to focus her attention on Trump, the wealthy businessman and television celebrity who has come under fire from both Democrats and Republicans for his derogatory remarks about minorities, especially a U.S. federal judge of Mexican descent who is presiding over a lawsuit involving one of Trump's Wait, business again. ventures. Remember, Trump remember. defended himself in a speech Monday night without directly addressing the controversy. My goal is always again to bring people together. But if I'm forced to fight for something I really care about, I will never ever back down and our country will never ever back down. The 2016 race for the White House moves on to the party's national conventions in July. Clinton will be formally nominated at the Democratic convention in Philadelphia while the Republicans will select Trump in Cleveland. Richard Green, VOA News, Washington. What well, joining us now for perspective on the 2016 presidential race is VOA national correspondent Jim Malone. Jim, welcome to Africa 54. Always a pleasure. Now for Clinton, indeed, uh, you know, she's fought hard. She's where she is now. But I think the symbolism of it, being the first female mm -hmm. ever in the mm -hmm. United States, is, is, is something to really talk about. It really is. I mean, mm -hmm. if you look back, uh, women have only had the right to vote in the United States since 1920. Mm -hmm. Here we are 96 years later, and we're finally getting a uh, party nominee for president who is a woman. So she's definitely making history. The interesting thing, though, during the campaign, this took sort of a, a back seat to the battle between her and Sanders. So now in the general campaign against Trump, who has problems with women voters, mm -hmm. I think she'll emphasize she this aspect bring it up. again. Yes. And because she didn't want it to look like she's trying to court just the women vote. That's right. Yeah. But uh, now, Bernie Sanders says he's still on in the mm -hmm. race and he's going to keep fighting on. What is the game plan? Here? Yeah, I know. It's, I'm sure it's a little curious yeah. uh, around the world. But look, it's difficult when you lose, and Hillary Clinton referenced this, because she lost eight yeah. years ago to Barack Obama, right? Yeah. A very tough race. It takes time, not only for the candidate to get over the loss and reconcile themselves with it, but their supporters. And this is where you have to be careful. I think it's going to take a few days, but I think the real key role here will be played by the commander-in-chief of all people. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, Barack Obama's not just president. 
He's the head of the Democratic Party as well. And he knows he needs to bring the party together because he knows Trump is trying to refute everything he's done. So he wants a strong Democratic Party to take on Trump in November. And we know that uh, Hillary Clinton, when she ran against uh, uh, Barack Obama for the nomination for the Democratic uh, uh, presidential race, she had some fundamental differences with Obama. Yes. Now, she, if she merges as the, you know, I mean, she is now the nominee for the party. What are the fundamental differences between her and Trump that will perhaps be a decisive factor in being elected? I think Clinton will really focus on Trump as someone who's too risky to be president. I think that's first and foremost. It's going to be a negative campaign. Clinton will offer uh, the aura of stability and continuing uh, in Obama's footsteps. And right now, Obama's approval ratings are up to 50%. That's a good sign for a party trying to keep the White House for a third term. Trump, though, is a wild card. We know that. He's appealing to independents, uh, and he's going to be a political outsider. And sometimes it can be tough for a career politician to take on a political outsider. Yes. Uh, the issues that uh, surround uh, Clinton, you know, people have talked about them and wondered, is there any risk henceforth uh, being brought up, like the issues of the emails and all that? Right. Or is that now Well, behind? no, they're still awaiting an FBI investigation result about the email, whether anything was jeopardized in the handling of classified information. We don't know when that's going to come out. Uh, it could be a potential uh, pivot point in the campaign. Uh, I think the Clinton people don't expect any sort of criminal indictment. They're expecting maybe a slap on the wrist. But if it does go in a different direction, it could really up uh, upend the campaign. So we'll just have to wait and see on that. And very quick, uh, quickly, for the sake of our viewers, you know, wh what is it that we're likely to witness at the conventions between mm -hmm. Sanders and Clinton? Well, yes, I think it's a period of coming together. This will take weeks. Uh, they, and Clinton will adopt some of Sanders' platform ideas, especially income inequality. Now, for Trump at the convention, Hold on to your seats. I think anything's possible. He's a showman, and he's already said he wants to jazz up the Republican convention yes, in Cleveland. But that, and he doesn't have to worry about somebody challenging him, uh, which was initially what was supposed to be well, the case. As long as he doesn't keep <laughs> making these controversial comments, because yeah. they have really rocked the boat in terms of the Republican establishment yeah. this week. Yeah. So Trump is fighting this backfire with his own Republican supporters. At least he's now using teleprompter and might change things. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Well, Jim, thanks a lot for your you analysis. Bet. Thank you. Always, yeah. Well, uh, we do appreciate uh, Jim's insights. Uh, well, thanks uh, to him. He's our viewer and national uh, correspondent.